Well, y'all, it seems like there's trouble upon trouble upon trouble for YouTuber blogger Latasha Kibi, uh, known as Tasha K, her YouTube channel, Unwind with Tasha K. Of course, you probably have heard about this story because it became public today, November 13th, and it's already trending. So the story is that R. Kelly, singer, um, singer who is in jail, we remember all the things that he was convicted of, and it was just a mess, not just uh, for him, his image, his music, but for all the victims, especially the people he hurt. So R. Kelly is now suing the Federal Bureau of Prisons, y'all, over allegations that the agency leaked private information about him to Latasha K or to Tasha K, the same YouTube host, as we know, that Cardi B sued for defamation and won her lawsuit last year. OK, so in a complaint that was filed today in Chicago federal court, R. Kelly's lawyers say an unnamed Bureau of Prisons agent illegally assessed accessed, excuse me, his digital prison prison records, including recordings of private phone calls with his girlfriend and lawyers and sold them to Tasha, who then, of course, broadcast them online to more than one million followers. Um, They're saying here that the defendant, uh, the defendant, United States of America, breached its duty of care to the plaintiff when it allowed countless uh, Bureau of Prison Uh, officers to access his confidential information without any legal basis to do so. Uh, Kelly's lawyer is Jennifer Bonjean, I believe, or Bonjean. Uh, That's what she is saying to the media. Now, the lawsuit also names Tasha as a defendant, claiming that she then rallied her massive following to harass him uh, and to use the stolen, she used the stolen information and created chaos in the plan in his personal life. Okay. Is what the documents say. Now I want to stop and say, I don't know about you guys, but around this time when Latasha or Tasha K was breaking stories on R. Kelly, I was watching her videos from time to time. And I specifically remember her saying that she spoke to someone at the jail. It was a woman. And she said the woman had given her all this information. Now, hopefully um, her and her husband have removed those videos or maybe they removed them uh, in 2022, uh, you know, because there were some other stuff going on. You know, um, R. Kelly spoke to another YouTuber or radio host about a year ago saying that he had intended to, uh, you know, eventually sue her. So who knows where those videos are now? Maybe they're still up there <laughs> like the Cardi B thing had. She didn't take it down until she was literally forced to take it down. So I don't know the status because I haven't watched her since she was sued for defamation and and Cardi B won that lawsuit. So, you know, I want to say, you know, I'm a YouTuber. It's a hobby for me. I know some of you listening are YouTubers or maybe you have YouTubers you follow. I think all of us who do commentary online should have boundaries. Like for me personally, I don't feel comfortable digging into people's personal lives, like trying to find their divorce records, trying to find their, their, um, you know, who owns their home, how many square, how much square footage is the home. And I'm not um, speaking against those who do that because each person has to follow his or her own conscience. But for me, I always thought, well, you know, I just feel comfortable talking about stories that are already public and then trying to bring some importance out of them for us by way of life lessons. But even when I was watching her R. Kelly videos, I was thinking to myself, if she ever, if, if the, if anyone at that prison ever finds out that woman was given her information And at that time, remember, Tasha was very bold. You know, sometimes when you get sued and you get sued successfully, kind of knocks you down a peg or two. But at that time, she was at the height of her YouTube channel, at the the height of her following even. And uh, she was consistently, quote unquote, breaking stories. And so I just remember thinking, probably like so many of you were thinking, she really shouldn't be sharing this information because it's illegal. It's illegal. Uh, the lady who was accessing the information, information, it was, she was doing it illegally and giving it to her. Now, whether she paid her for the information or not, I don't know. That's something they're going to have to hash out in court. Um, but the bottom line is this is very, very interesting. You know, Tasha and her family have had to make some major adjustments as most of you know, who probably are still following her, uh, since, um, this whole Cardi B lawsuit. And of course, since Cardi B, Uh, is saying, I'm going to continue to get my money. Now, I did see a trending headline on TMZ a few weeks ago 
that Cardi B was considering, uh, you know, kind of letting her off the hook. I never followed up with that because, again, I'm not a follower of Tasha Kay. Um, I, I don't think she's trustworthy. And when you get on the stand, as she did during that trial, and say that you're willing to lie to your followers um, because you can, you know, I can't really trust your reporting, you know, on stories. I understand that people may, you know, uh, you know, exaggerate here and there, what have you, you know, entertain under the guise of entertainment. But this was different that she said that she was willing to do. So for me, I just thought, yeah, I don't know if I can really um, rock with her after that. It'd be one thing if we knew that's what you were doing. But at the time when she was reporting on these stories, she was not coming from that place. It was like, this is the truth. I have a source, you know, 100%, no lie, you know, no check, all that kind of stuff. So this is very interesting. I'm going to be following this because, you know, to my knowledge, Tasha K, when it comes to the black sector of YouTube, she is one of only like a few who has been successfully sued. Um, and I know Jason Lee and others have been upset with her, Boosie and others saying they're going to sue her. I just don't really know why she hasn't changed her tactics since what happened with that lawsuit. Now, what do you guys think? Do you think that R. Kelly has a case here? I mean, because they can actually prove uh, from her videos if they if the attorneys snatched those videos before she took them down or if she even took them down where she was saying, I got this from someone who worked in the prison. And she was disseminating it, as they said in their paperwork here, to her to her fan base. And it was drawing those videos. I remember the, the views on those videos. Some of them were up into the millions. So like the Cardi B uh, video was up into the millions, the views. So this is very sad. What do you guys think about this? Those of you who are maybe still following her or are maybe not following her, but maybe you tune in every now and again. Do you think this lawsuit is going to be successful? I actually think it is. And. One of the things that I don't want to see happen is someone get under so much pressure that it just really um, kind of completely changes any kind of future they can have. And it really does seem even I will tell you the articles that are uh, have been written about this Billboard magazine, others, they're all saying, you know, yes, that Tasha K, for instance, Billboard, their their article is R. Kelly sues Federal Prison Bureau for allegedly leaking private info to YouTube host. And then they say here, um, the singer claims the feds illegally shared sensitive jailhouse info with gossip blogger named Tasha K. Yes, that Tasha K. So it's like everyone uh, from the New York Post to whomever they are referencing her as that Tasha K. So when it comes to the worldwide stage of media, she has made a name for herself because of that lawsuit. And I think she started off trying to make a name for herself. And there's nothing wrong with that. But of course, the way she went about it, there was something wrong with that. I think about everything that she has lost, that her children have lost, that her husband has lost, that they've lost together, all because she wouldn't take down a video. I will tell you guys, our, our egos can get so huge to where we can lose our, we can almost lose our life behind it. And I don't know, some of you guys can update us in the comments, you know, how successful things are going are for her now. Um, but we all make mistakes, but unfortunately this was not a mistake. You know, she knowingly uh, did what she did and Cardi B was very gracious. Remember we discussed it here. In the beginning, she gave her opportunity after opportunity to just simply take down the videos. She even tried to reason with her and be merciful and say, I'm a mom and you're a mom. Please take them down. And she wouldn't. So we can't call that a mistake. We can call it what it was. It was a very bad decision. Um, and, and pursuing money will make us, all of us, make bad decisions, right? And make mistakes as well. So that's the story. I'll be following the story. Let us know your thoughts below. You know, my heart goes out to Tasha. I don't know what is um, what is really. I don't know what's going on with her, this young lady, to where she feels like these things that she does, or I should say the way she's doing them is the right path. Um, does she not have any mentors? Does she not have anyone in her life who's much, much older, who she will listen to? 
um, who can share with her that this just isn't the way to make a name for yourself. As I said before, she's already known by Billboard magazine, the Los Angeles, Los Angeles Times as that. Yeah, that Tasha K. That's not a good thing. So I hope it all works out for her. But I definitely think he has a basis for his lawsuit. And I think he's going to be successful. So that's the story. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the commentary, my view, my opinion. I'll talk to you on the next broadcast. Bye, guys. Yeah,